uh, Jürgen Teller approached us to design a studio for him, or studio complex. The brief was, in fact, extremely open. He needed spaces to work, and that is, um, uh, in the end, a very open thing, particularly with Jürgen Teller's work, because he doesn't work in a kind of typical uh, photographer's studio. He always works in a location. So it was a, as much about making studio space as making situations within which he could make new work. So on one end of the project, it's very kind of um, a, very much a working building. The middle section, which we're in here, is the main studio space, which is both for shoots and for making books, exhibitions. And then the last building on the other side of the garden is the most domestic, the most intimate, which has a, a library, kitchen, dining, so it's quite very sociable. So um, all in all, it forms the... Um, uh, the studio. So the design evolved um, quite naturally. It wasn't the product of a single concept. It's something which is a kind of combination of the site, which pressed all sorts of um, peculiarities on the process, and then uh, Jürgen and us somehow responding in real time to the, to the spaces that were possible, that were, that were interesting. But the thing that really generated it was we imagined three buildings and three gardens, where the gardens are equivalents with the buildings. And that they would be all the same building. The gardens became more and more kind of ruinous as an idea. So gardens which are not sort of particularly um, tidily kept, they're more sort of wild and dense, and that the concrete would provide a sort of, um, a sort of almost like sort of eternal background to all of this, all of this changing situations in Jürgen's kind of work, in the, the, the kind of the photography, but also changing situations in terms of the landscape and the gardens. And also the materials was really something where he had sort of said that he didn't want something sort of too, too noisy as a background. So something that's reasonably uh, um, accommodating to all these different things, but at the same time is never a completely neutral surface. So even when it's white, it's, it's block work white. It still has a texture to it. It still has a bit of light and shadow that hits it. So there is, there is no flat white plaster work in this building at all. Um, and it gets sort of overlaid by sets, by situations, by the weather. Um, so somehow it's also constantly changing. The building essentially goes from being uh, like a monastery, like a retreat on one end, and then like a wild, the wild party on the other end. And I would say that kind of slightly characterizes Jürgen, that he can be very a very sort of solitary and quite reflective artist, and at the same time extremely sociable and gregarious and, um, and kind of uh, partying. And, and I think, I don't know, I hope that that's, that's all in the building somewhere.